everyone and thank you so much for joining me. Today I thought it would be really fun because there's a lot of buzz around all of these beauty bombs that I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison using two drugstore beauty bombs. So they're really affordable, they're anti-aging, great for mature skin. I'm going to apply one to one side of my face, one to the other side of my face. I'm going to do a wear test and do a few check-ins. are new here, welcome. I'm Michelle. I love skincare, makeup, lifestyle. I post videos every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope that you will subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's just jump right in. I'm going to tell you what I have here, tell you a little bit about it. I have the CoverGirl Simply Ageless, which this one I've had for a little while and I'm going to apply that to one side of my face. This is the new L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm. It's been out a little while, but it's still pretty new. i finally got my hands on it. These are both bombs. They're both anti-aging. They contain hyaluronic acid. The L'Oreal is more of a light to medium coverage. The Simply Ageless is more of a medium to full coverage. Price-wise, they're almost the same. The L'Oreal is $12.99 to $19.99, which I thought was crazy. You get 0.63 ounce. The CoverGirl is $13.99 for a 0.4 ounce. This one does come with a little sponge on the bottom. The L'Oreal does not come with any. They actually recommend you apply it with your fingers. They're both moisturizing. The L'Oreal is supposed to firm over time, smooth lines, conceal imperfections, and evens out skin tone. The CoverGirl is supposed to moisturize, anti-age, conceal, and smooth out line and wrinkles. So they're really, really similar. I do have to say the L'Oreal Age Perfect has a little bit of a lighter texture to it. It's a little bit smoother. It almost feels a little watery when I put my finger in it. The CoverGirl is still really smooth and silky, but it feels more like a lotion. And that's the two next to each other. The colors are so different. I'm gonna wear them both. I'm gonna do one on one side and one on the other, and we're gonna see how it goes throughout the day. I'm not gonna use a primer. I have not been using a primer lately. In the summertime with the heat, I wanna put as little product as I can on my face. I have minimal skincare on today, and I definitely have my sunscreen. The CoverGirl does contain a sunscreen. It has an SPF of 28, but I highly recommend never counting on your foundation for your SPF. Always use a separate SPF and then put your foundation on. The L'Oreal, it says to apply with your fingers, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Now this one I have not used yet. I'm gonna apply this one to this side of my face. So it says just to apply with your fingers. This looks pretty. I think this color is gonna be okay. I'm just gonna go down my neck a little. It looks really pretty as I'm putting it on. It looks really skin-like. Definitely a light coverage. I have a lot of wrinkles around my mouth, so I want to see how it's going to sit in there. It's going on really smooth. It feels silky. It feels almost like just a lightweight lotion. It's blending right into my skin. So this side I have nothing, and this side is the L'Oreal Age Perfect. Right now it has a very, very slight tacky feel, so I'm going to leave that alone, let it dry down, and we're going to go ahead and do the CoverGirl. Now they do recommend you apply this with a sponge. I've done it with a sponge. It goes on really, really thick. So if you want a full, full coverage, use the sponge just so they're both equal. I'm applying them both with my fingers. Now I have some redness down here. We'll see how this covers. I'm sorry if you can hear donkeys. My neighbor has donkeys and I have the window open and every now and then they decide to make noises. It's kind of fun. I like hearing the animals out there. I'm a huge animal lover. This was going on really good with fingers too. What is happening? It's going to be interesting to see how these wear throughout the day. Lately, I've been all about no fuss, which is why I like these bombs. You can just throw this in your bag if you want to just touch something up during the day. Okay, so both of them are on. So this is the L'Oreal on this side. And then this side is the CoverGirl Simply Ageless. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So I'm back with my makeup on. I use the same products on both sides. I use a powdered blush and a powdered bronzer. I use no setting powder or anything. I didn't wanna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna check back in in a few hours and just see where it's at. I think that'll give us a good indication if my skin is gonna get greasy or oily. It happens relatively quick. And if I didn't say it already, I have combination skin. I'm usually oily in the T-zone. I have some dry patches on the outer perimeter of my face and the rest is pretty normal. I'm just going to go ahead about my day and we're going to check in in a few hours. 
Hey guys, so I am back. It's been almost five hours. Let's take a look at how it's wearing. This is the L'Oreal side and this is the CoverGirl side. So this is the L'Oreal. And then this is the CoverGirl. I'm gonna take my mirror just so I can get a close up look to see how I think it's wearing. I'm definitely shinier in my forehead and a little bit in my cheek area, but that's normal for me in my T-zone. I don't think I look super greasy and oily, but I'm definitely a little shinier than I would like to be in the forehead. As far as how it's wearing, I don't see anything strange. It's not breaking up, especially where I'm really shiny. I don't see any patches or anything like that. It's definitely worn off a little bit around my nose. I have horrible allergies. I've been blowing my nose all day. It's worn off a tiny bit around my mouth. I ate lunch, but again, I don't see spots missing or it breaking up anywhere. Let's take a look around my mouth because that's where I have the most wrinkles. See how that looks. It's not settling into any lines and wrinkles. It's not accentuating anything. I think my blush still looks good on both sides. It's in place, which is really nice. And as far as feel, it feels like skin. It doesn't really feel like I'm wearing anything at all, which is so nice, especially for the summer. I figured it's a beautiful sunny day. I'm gonna take you outside in the sun. I wanna see how different this looks versus you know the indoor studio light and see if we notice a difference. So far, both sides look really even to me. I'm not seeing a huge difference at all. If I had to get really, really nitpicky, I feel like my forehead is a little bit shinier on the L'Oreal side and my cheek area is a tiny bit shinier on the CoverGirl side. So really, there's not a huge difference. They're both wearing really well. They both blended into my skin well. So let's go take a look outside. Hi guys, so I'm here for my final check-in. It's been about nine hours, so it was still light out and nice out, so I thought I would come out here and just show you guys what it looked like before going inside. Then we'll go look at it in the light and I'll give you my final thoughts, but let's take a quick look. This was the CoverGirl side. And then this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect. I still think that it looks really good, but let's go inside and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so we're back inside. Let's take a look in here. This is the CoverGirl side. And this is the L'Oreal side. It's definitely worn off on my nose from blowing my nose. It's worn off around my mouth from eating and wiping my mouth. The rest of my face, I think, looks really good. I'm really happy with it. It's just very skin-like. I don't feel like I have a ton of makeup on it. I don't see any patches or anything sliding around at all. It just kind of wore off nicely. It didn't do anything weird. It just kind of wore away either from blowing my nose, touching my face. Overall, it still really looks like skin. It's one of the prettier foundations that I've used. I'm gonna get a blotting cloth. I wanna see my forehead, how much oil is actually on my forehead and how much oil broke through, not using a primer or any type of setting powder. We're gonna get gross now. And let's see how much oil I have after nine hours. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, that's the oil that I had on my forehead. I'm just gonna blot and just see what this looks like. It's not taking off any of the foundation. So I don't see anything coming off on here other than just the oil. So that did take down the shine a little bit. I'm sure if I had lightly powdered, I think it probably would have not gotten as shiny during the day, but it really didn't bother me. I didn't think that it looked super oily or greasy. I'm really happy. I like both of these a lot. Both of these blend right into my skin. They didn't accentuate my pores. They didn't accentuate my fine lines and wrinkles. I do think that I prefer the L'Oreal Age Perfect. I just think that it's a little bit lighter. I felt like it melted into my skin a tiny bit better than the CoverGirl. I just like the way it feels. It doesn't go on heavy. I'm pretty sure that I could apply this with a sponge and still have it look nice. This one is still excellent. I have been wearing this. I like this one. I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these for mature skin. And like I said, I have combinations. So I do have an oily T-zone and they're still working for me. You might just want to use a little bit of a setting powder. If you really want a full coverage, I would go with the CoverGirl. If you're looking for something more light to medium, and I don't even 
even know if it would be medium. It's more of just a light. I would definitely stick with the Age Perfect. Also, if you don't want a sunscreen or if you're sensitive to certain types of sunscreens, you know, avoid the CoverGirl and then just go with the L'Oreal. They're so, so similar. I really think out of these two, I have a feeling that I'm going to be reaching for the L'Oreal the most. So guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you found it helpful and enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in my next video.